Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're here for Story Group. Today we're going to be reading The Lonely Scarecrow. This is what we call the front cover of our story. On our front cover has the title of our story. The title is The Lonely Scarecrow. The author is the person who wrote the story. The author's name is Tim. The illustrator is the person who drew all the drawings we see throughout our story. The illustrator's name is Maggie. Here we see the title page of our story. We see our title, The Lonely Scarecrow, and this is a page in our story. Let's get started. And I turn the page to begin reading. In the middle of a field, under a sky, the color of corn flowers stood a scarecrow. He had a scary face, but a kindly heart. More than anything, he wished that the animals and birds would be his, his friends. This is where we see our scarecrow friend. But the creatures of the field were afraid of the scarecrow's flapping coat and big black hat. They were afraid of his beady eyes, his crooked nose, and his jagged metal mouth. Here we see the creatures looking at the scarecrow. And I turn my page to keep reading. In the spring, the scarecrow watched the animals play at the edge of his field. He watched the birds as they made their nests. He watched the carefree tumblings of fox cubs and rabbits. He listened to the noisy ducklings by the old pond. And all the time, the animals watched the scary scarecrow, but they never came near. We see our scarecrow looking at the birds in their nests and looking at the ducks and the rabbits and the fox cubs and them looking at him. Each day, the swaying wheat in the field grew taller. The scarecrow lost sight of the, of the animals. He lost even the happy song of the lark drowned out by the whispering of the wheat. Marooned in his golden sea, the scarecrow lost hope of ever making friends. We see our scarecrow and the wheat that is growing taller and taller where he is half covered. Let's see what happens. Then the combined monster came to harvest the wheat. Remember, harvest means that the wheat is ready to be picked. The animals hid from its churring jaws and the ravaged acres of mud and stumble that it left behind. They also hid from the scarecrow, who stood alone now in the empty field. Here comes the machine to pick up all the wheat, and the scarecrow, who's by himself in the field. I turn my page to keep reading. From the north came a sly breeze that stole the leaves from the trees, and the light from the days. The animals hurried home to their warm burrows and cozy nests. And the scarecrow felt even lonelier, for he knew that winter was coming. Here we see the leaves falling off the trees. Just like what we see now outside, because we are in the season of fall. Snow fell heavily one night and kept on falling. It fell on the bare, still woods and on the silent fields. Slowly, it covered the ground where the scarecrow stood. Here we see the trees that have no more leaves and the snow that is starting to fall on the scarecrow. I wonder what's gonna happen to him. In the morning, the animals woke to a world that had changed. A thick blanket of snow covered the frozen earth. The scarecrow seemed to have vanished too. In his place 
stood a jolly snowman. So once the snow fell, the scarecrow was covered with snow and became a snowman. Flip my page to keep reading and find out what happens. The creatures played happily in the field, rolling and tumbling in the snow around the scarecrow. And the scarecrow, well, he was as cheerful and bright as a sunny winter day. So you see, he, ha he has a smile because everyone now is playing with him. Although he was happy, the scarecrow was afraid of what would happen when he lost his snowy coat. He was afraid that the animals would shriek from his twisted shape. Most of all, he was afraid he would be alone again. And then the snow began to thaw. Thaw is another word for melt. You see here, the snow is starting to melt. Snow slipped off the scarecrow's shoulders and dripped from the brim of his hat. When the last patches of snow fell from his face, the animals looked up in wonder. Could the friendly snowman be the same scary creature they had feared for so long? A question. As the warmth of spring stirred the brown earth, the scarecrow felt a bird peck at his hat and a mouse nestle in the folds of his coat and the scarecrow knew that he would never be lonely again. So the snow melts off the scarecrow and there are all the animals. The scarecrow is no longer lonely. The end. This is the back cover of our story. This lets us know that our story is finished. Today, we talked about the story of a scarecrow who was first lonely and then was able to make friends where people, animals did not fear him anymore. Scarecrow begins with the letter S, makes the s sound, scarecrow. Today we read the lonely scarecrow. Thanks for joining, see you next time.